As the world's population continues to grow, we're faced with the need for faster development in rapid construction on a massive scale. The building design and construction process is one that has relatively stayed the same for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. An architect or designer would create a vision for a structure, a civil engineer would create all the necessary supports and functions, and a crew of builders would ultimately construct the house or building. It seems simple, but one thing that the tried and tested process doesn't have on its hands is time. When time and efficiency become the driving constraint for construction, like what's being seen in areas experiencing rapid growth, oftentimes the only solution is manufactured housing, lacking in originality and architectural beauty. There is a place for a double-wide or a single-wide concept of manufactured homes, but adapting to the mass population has never been the intended use. Rather than this form of housing manufacturing, the construction building design and construction industry will shift to a more wide-scale mass production industry. We're already seeing trends of this emerge, like when China had to build a hospital in record time, they used prefabricated wall structures leaned up together to create one building as fast as possible. That said, the buildings traditionally made in these prefabricated structures are rather boxy and not very interesting, but the industry will soon come to see that one can still be focused on architectural beauty and originality, but the processes can be driven by manufacturability and speed. Much like how 3D printing and other additive techniques are inflating the mechanical engineer's world in product design, so too is relatively rapid prototyping infiltrating the construction industry. There are any number of ways one can create a structure using scalable components. Buildings can utilize large-scale concrete or brick house 3D printing machines, although their practicality for widespread use is currently still lacking. What the world will start to see is more of a system of construction building blocks, a standard, if you will, for fully custom construction, housing, all using similar pieces. This slowly emerging trend in the construction industry is further picking up speed. We're beginning to see skyscrapers built in a matter of days and weeks, as opposed to years, using traditional methods. The trend is becoming pre-manufactured, as somewhat uniform structural sections used in large-scale construction projects. Most notably, we see these pre-manufactured part methods being used in places like China, like we mentioned before, where the population is experiencing exponential growth. For the better part of history, construction has relied on the trades. Bricklayers, masons, builders, and many others to bring an architectural design into fruition. Not to say that trades are dying, in fact quite the opposite, but rather when time is a driving factor in construction, there simply isn't enough time to rely on human tradesmen. Engineers and builders, for that matter, are turning to construction techniques like tilt-up building, where walls are cast in large slab sections on the ground and lifted into place. This technique allows sections hundreds of feet in length to be raised in a matter of hours. The key to understanding mass production techniques being implemented in building construction is that even though time is becoming a driving factor, buyers still want originality. To adapt to this, construction techniques are using styles similar to how one might play with Legos. There are standard sections and methods that ultimately fit together easily to create a greater structure, but therein can be customization. As large-scale 3D printing techniques for buildings mature, the industry may start seeing more designers utilizing these methods. In terms of feasibility, additive techniques have been proven on a small scale, but sizing up the methods to the size of a house or office building is another matter entirely. Much like how the Industrial Revolution created a variety of processes that sped up the manufacturing industry, so too we're going to start seeing a construction revolution, which is speeding up our ability to engineer dwellings to meet the growing population and need for new structures.